We're going to explain how to switch your ZTE MC888 router's frequency from 5 GHz to 2.4 GHz. This is often helpful for devices that don't support 5 GHz, or if you're experiencing better connection stability on the 2.4 GHz band. Remember that the exact steps might vary slightly depending on your router's firmware version, but the general process should be similar. 1. Accessing the router's interface. First, you need to access your router's configuration interface. Open a web browser on a device connected to your ZTE MC888 router. In the address bar, type your router's IP address. This is usually 192.168.1.1 or 192.168.0.1, but you can check the sticker on the bottom of your router for the correct address. Once you've entered the address, press enter. You'll then be prompted to log in. Use the username and password found on the same sticker. The default is often admin for both. 2. Finding the Wi-Fi settings. Once logged in, navigate through the router's menu to find the Wi-Fi settings. This is usually under a section named Wireless, Wi-Fi, or something similar. Look for submenus related to wireless settings, 2.4 GHz settings, or 5 GHz settings. 3. Switching to 2.4 GHz. Your router likely has separate settings for the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands. You might see two separate network names, SSIDs, listed, one for each band. To prioritize or solely use the 2.4 GHz band, you'll need to find the option to enable or disable each band. There will often be a checkbox or a drop-down menu that lets you enable or disable the 5 GHz band. Simply disable the 5 GHz network. If you only see a single network name, it means your router is configured to broadcast a combined network meaning it's simultaneously broadcasting both frequencies under one name. You might need to look for a setting that allows you to choose which band is preferred or to disable band steering, which automatically assigns clients to the best band. You can try changing the 5 GHz name and disabling it that way. Some routers allow you to set the network name, SSID, and password individually for each frequency band. 4. Saving Changes once you've disabled the 5 GHz network or configured it to your preference, make sure to save your changes. There's usually a Save, Apply, or Submit button to confirm your settings. 5. Reconnecting your devices. After saving, your devices might need to reconnect to the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network. You may have to manually select the 2.4 GHz network from the list of available Wi-Fi networks on your devices. 6. Troubleshooting. If you're still having trouble connecting or your internet speed is slow after making these changes, try restarting your router. You can do this by unplugging it from the power outlet for 30 seconds and then plugging it back in. If problems persist, consult your router's manual or contact your internet service provider for further assistance. Remember to note your router's SSID and password after these changes for future connections. Remember, these steps are a general guide. The specific location and naming of these settings may vary slightly depending on your router's firmware version. Refer to your ZTE MC888's user manual for the most precise instructions.